welcome to Time Lock Docs. We are a company that creates professional engineering applications. We provide construction and commissioning software to make your life easier and provide a better product to your customers. We are currently the only company that produces a commissioning software in a patented locked document. Time, date, GPS stamped with e-signature. Today we will review the use of our electrical panel app to document your electrical, solar or power panel needs for your project. TimelockDocs.com provides easy to use applications to document your electrical panel installation, repair and certification. The electrical app organizes and certifies your installation and commissioning process and provides both professional PDF and exportable digital database. The app gives you access to all the Netatorx settings on your phone or tablet without having to access a codebook or manufacturer spec sheet. Go to the website timelockdocs.com. Click on the icons for the App Store or Play Store to download. The Electrical Panel app is available for a free trial. There are no ads and the app has a link to Neta on its homepage. How to use the app. Making a project. Open the application. Tap on Projects to create a project. Tap on New Projects. Type in project name, then tap Create. Tap on Newly Created Project Folder. Tap on Projects to create a new project folder. Tap on New Projects. Type in project name and tap Create. Your new project folder has been created. Making a panel equipment location. In a project, tap on New Loc. Tap on New Loc to create a new location. Type in location name, then tap Create. A new panel equipment location folder has been created. Tap on Newly Created Location Folder. Create new panel equipment locations and tap Create. New panel equipment locations has been created. Making a certification. Tap on New Cert to create a new panel certification sheet. Fill out the fields in the document. Toggle to appropriate system and select system. Electrical, control, mechanical, fire, solar, or create new. Tap on New Cert to create a new panel certification. Type in fields and tap on the Type button to select panel type, then tap Save. A new certification has been created. These are the panel types to select from or create a custom panel by selecting Create New. We selected Fire for a fire control panel. This is your newly completed form. Inserting torque and anchorage values. Tap Torque Settings. Select Commissioning Torque Requirement. Select a wire or anchorage setting. By selecting the wire or anchorage setting, you will then choose the wire or bolt size. You may select per NETA or per manufacturer. Tap on Torque Settings to select Commissioning Torque Requirement. Select a wire or anchorage setting. By selecting the wire or anchorage setting, you will then choose the wire or bolt size. You may select per NETA or per manufacturer. Type in the number of feeders and the feeder's name. Tap on Wire Size to get Rolodex. Use the Rolodex to select the wire size. Select sealed Yes or No. Tap on Wire Size to get Rolodex. Use the Rolodex to select the wire size. It automatically corresponds to metric. Once all the fields are completed, tap Save. This inserts the torque values into the certification. Under your Torque Settings button is where your torque values and wire inputs will be saved and scrollable. You can edit them by tapping on the screen. You can edit or delete any wire inputs by swiping left on the screen. You can save up to 150 wire inputs with torque values. For any equipment anchorage or bus connection, repeat the same process. The app provides all SAE requirements 1 through 8 
and also provides a manufacturer input. Taking initial photo. Once the fields for the panel certification are filled in, you are ready to take photos. Tap the camera icon to take a photo. Take photos. Save or retake as desired. Add a note if desired. Save photo by tapping OK. You can continually update the photos by deleting the old ones. This will give you a new point of work to document your work on that panel for that day. New photos will have a new watermark. Once saved, each photo is watermarked and time date stamped GPS when available. This photo is not editable and is locked into the document. Tap on camera icon to take photos of the internals of the panel you are working on. The photo is time date GPS stamped and is not editable, although you can delete and retake as desired. You may take up to six photos to document your work. You can update daily until the panel is ready to certify. After taking the photo, you can set temperature or add a note. Select OK if you are happy with the photo or remove to delete and retake a photo. You can use expanding finger movements on the photo. This zooms into the photo for a close-up of the photo to review with the inspector or as desired. Certifying the panel. Return with the inspector after all wires have been terminated. Review the torque values and equipment anchorage in the app with the inspector. Torque wires and equipment anchorage to specifications. Toggle buttons torqued to green. Toggle button passed to green. Toggle passed to green. Toggle torqued to green. Fill in the comment box as desired. Select edit button to duplicate or delete a certification. You can make Multiple certifications for jobs with many panels without having to retype in all the fields by using the duplicate button. You can duplicate a certification without previously filled torque settings or you can duplicate a certification with torque settings. This allows you to preload multiple panels in various locations on projects with minimal work. Edit the system type as needed. Photos will never duplicate. You can make future PDFs of panels to be wired to help with workflow on projects. You can also PDF any unfinished panel and email off to future technicians for a seamless pass down of information. E-signing the certification. You are now ready to e-sign the certification. At the bottom of the screen, tap sign email. A PDF will be created. Tap signature. Input installer's name and title and sign with stylus or finger and tap add. Tap signature. Input inspector or administrative authority's name and title and sign with stylus or finger and tap add. You can repeat this process to add additional signatures if necessary. Tap sign email at the bottom of the screen. Publishing the results. Once all signatures have been captured, Tap the right upper corner at to publish and email the certification. Make sure you copy yourself and all pertinent parties on the email. This certification will now be stored in the email certificates on the home page of the app. You can add up to six signatures. Once the signatures have been captured, you can email the certification document. Tap the at button to email the certification. Congratulations! No more lost paperwork, no more digging through code books, looking for torque values, no more wondering where we are at with the wiring of the panel, no more looking for the panel certification sheets, no more holding up the inspector. Now we are preloading our panel, improving our workflow. Now the pass down of information is seamless. Now you and your jobs look more professional. Your certification document will be professionally produced with all info captured.